Hi everyone, my name is Tim and I'm one of the product specialists here at Spy Center Security, the Spy Gear Superstore. And I'm here today to talk to you guys about the multi-use RF bug detector. The real purpose of this video is to give you guys an idea of how to actually use this RF detector. If you need to know what an RF detector is or how to choose one, I'd recommend watching our guide to RF detectors located on the main product page under counter surveillance. The multi-use RF bug detector can pick up signals between 50 megahertz and 6 gigahertz. This is the first price point where you'll actually find an RF detector that differentiates between signal types. On the faceplate of the detector, it will actually tell you if it's detecting a Wi-Fi signal or another signal which could potentially be a bug. What I'm going to do next is a demonstration on how to use this device. Take a look. Hello everyone, today what we're doing is a quality demonstration for the multi-use RF detector. Now I'm going to go over the device actual, how to turn the device on and utilize all the features on it, but then I'm actually going to do a sweep for you in my store and I'm going to show you how to calibrate it and actually the process that you should do. Now I will mention to you guys, it's always very important to read through the user's manual and watch videos like this to get tips and tricks on how to utilize an RF detector properly. Doesn't matter how much money you spend on one, if you're not using it properly, you're, you're not gonna get any sort of results or desired results that you're looking for, okay? So let me go over the device first. Located on the side here, you've got the on-off switch. Down here, you've got a power, uh, so you can actually plug it in to recharge the batteries. And then up here, you got a headphone port. This device will actually beep whenever it detects something, but that can be bad depending on the type of bug or device you're trying to find. So the headphone ports allow you to actually hear it personally rather than broadcasting that you're detecting something. On this side, you've got your mode buttons. You press and uh, hold both of those to switch the mode, and I'll actually show you guys how to do that in a second. Your front, this is your display. And then on top, you've got your expandable antenna here, and then you've got your sensitivity plus and minus and your volume plus and minus there, okay? So to turn the device on, go ahead and flip it from off to on, and you'll see the, the actual front screen power up here. You're gonna wanna extend your antenna. And then I'm gonna go over the modes first with you. By default, it's set to beep, and I'll actually have a demo. So like, that's what it would sound like. Uh, I have the volume turned down right now, but there's also another mode. If I go over here and I press these buttons together, it actually switches, switches it to vibrate. So it's actually vibrating in my hand right now since I have the sensitivity cranked all the way up. The last mode down here, if I press it again, is acoustic. Now this is a rather unique uh, mode or setting on these types of detectors. Acoustic allows you to actually play music in the background from a CD, right? And what you'll do is you actually set it to acoustic mode and walk around with this next to your ear. If there is, in fact, a bug that's picking up what you're, you're, what you're saying, the, uh, the, it'll actually pick up that CD, and what'll happen is whenever you have this up, up to your head, you'll actually hear that music playing through the speaker on this thing, right? So how do you use it is you just set it to acoustic mode, hold this up to your ear and walk around very slowly. Okay, so now that we've actually gone through all of the actual switches and everything on the device to show you guys how to operate it, let me actually show you how to do a sweep. So I'm gonna flip it on, I'm gonna turn the power on here, I'm gonna extend the antenna. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna have the, the volume up a little bit so you guys can hear the beeping. I'll probably turn it down just a little bit so you guys don't have to actually hear it too loud in your ears. Okay, but what you're gonna to wanna to do to calibrate these things is you're gonna to wanna to stand next to a wall, okay? Once you're standing next to the wall, use the sensitivity gauge up here, this one right here, and fully make it so that it's sensitive. So I'm, this is literally as sensitive as it can get. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is slowly turn this, this wheel back, just like this, until it's right outside of the range of whatever it is that it's detecting, okay? Now this is how you calibrate the actual RF detector. You're gonna to wanna to do this every single wall. So calibrate it, scan a wall. When you get to the next wall, recalibrate it. You gotta do it every single time, okay? Just keep going a little bit until it's right outside, just like this. Like it's right on the edge of detecting something. I'm just spinning that wheel very slowly, just like that. And then what you do is once the antenna is extended, keep in mind that this is your detection range, not down here. So if you're holding it like this, a lot of people think, oh, I'm detecting right here. No, you're detecting up here, okay? So what you do is you stand and you just, my favorite is the S form. So just take it and kind of sweep it back and forth, kind of like in an S form. And what you'll notice is when you get to somewhere that's actually detecting an RF signal or source, 
it'll actually start beeping more frequently like this, like how it's doing right here. And if, the, if you look very closely, you'll see the Wi-Fi signal popped up there. It's because it's actually detecting, I turned this uh, nanny camera on that has Wi-Fi. So you'll notice when I'm far away like this, it's not detecting anything. But when I get close, it starts picking it up. And then that little blue light come up, comes on to let you know that it's detecting a Wi-Fi signal. It's important just to differentiate the different types of signals that this thing can detect.